are its distinctive spikes the key to a vaccine for the coronavirus? A joint project by the federal government and Johnson & Johnson is betting a billion dollars it is. We've got a candidate that has a high degree of probability of being successful against the COVID-19 virus. Dr. Dan Baruch helped develop the potential vaccine in his Boston lab. Using a disabled common cold virus proven safe in work on vaccines for Zika, HIV and Ebola, scientists insert one of the coronavirus spikes and then inject it. The spike protein is uh, synthesized and the body makes an immune response to it. And that is the vaccine. Successfully tested on animals, human trials will start in September. What we need is uh, to make vaccines uh, for a billion people and we need to make that as quickly as possible. The race to create a vaccine took off January 10th when Chinese scientists released the virus's genetic sequence, a series of letters revealing the blueprint used by researchers all over the world to design more than 50 vaccine candidates. January 10th, uh, around 11 p.m., that's when we started. Long before many governments paid attention, to meet anticipated demand, J&J &J says it will produce its not-for-profit vaccine even before approval. Early next year, we'll be able to start delivering vaccines from our manufacturing plant. Dramatically shrinking development time from five to seven years to just 12 to 18 months. Dr. Bruce Gellin is a global vaccine expert. Can we trust a vaccine that has been fast-tracked? That's, that's the most important question. And I think what's important for people to understand is that we can, we can go fast, but we can't, we can't cut corners and we're not going to cut corners. We can follow, follow all the guidelines, but by doing them in parallel and not in sequence, we can shorten those timelines. So the cure is not worse than the illness. Ann Thompson, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.